and welcome flip clock fans this little project here on the left that's gonna be my next video but this video is about this Copal 225 which is supposed to be a new inbox this is gonna be a little more lighthearted than normal things have been too serious in the world today so we're gonna to try to just forget about that for a while and talk about this clock so I got this new inbox clock they say, let me see, how, how can you tell if this is new in box? Are they just messing with me? Well, they probably should have the inserts. So here we go. Corpor Corporation of America. I'm going to fill one of these out one day. If purchased, what was the deciding factor for choosing a Copal clock? Well, they're awesome, of course. Now, they, this 225 is one of my favorites. It's a smaller clock, and it does not have an alarm. It's just a clock. Copal 225, instructions. I want to make sure you understand that it's a digital clock, see? Make sure that's not any, uh, no confusion there. Copal, Copal Limited. So it's very simple, very simple clock, very simple process. I can't imagine that anyone would really need to read this. You want to make sure you plug in the cord to a power socket, yeah. And make sure that you use soap suds of neutral nature. I wish a lot of people had done that. Uh, you, as you guys know, there's a lot of scratches on some of our clock bases. Now, Copal Digital Clocks, you guys have seen this before. Very famous brochure, beautiful brochure. There's our 225. It says it came in white, black, red, and yellow. But here on the box it says off-white. I thought that was kind of curious. It's not white, it's, it's off-white. Nice collection of clocks here. A fortune in clocks, actually. So there's the brochure. So far, so good. Looks like a new inbox to me. Now the cord. If you've ever got you a flip clock, you can right here. It's just usually filthy. Deep down in that crevice there, clean as a whistle. So already I can tell this hasn't been used much, if at all. Model 225. This is the 120 volt version. Initial impression is this thing is clean. Seems to be flipping just fine. Looks great. You're looking for some discoloration. If it's been out near the sun, it will have yellowed on the top half and not on the bottom half but it seems to be pretty uniform in color. So yeah, it looks like we've got a new inbox. I'm gonna plug it in and make sure it works. Of course you would expect it to work great because the bulb would be nearly new or unused. So let's check that out. Oh yeah. Now that, so that's what a clock's supposed to look like. A new clock. That's what I like to go for. Oh, sorry about that. It is kind of bright. But it's not an alarm clock. It's not going to wake you up in the morning anyway. So it, it's interesting that they're not perfect. So a lot of times we try to get our clocks perfect. It's fairly bright though. Bright and shiny. Not enough to draw the moths, but it's nice to see this. The face, that's about as good as it gets. A little bit of dust on there. But talking about the craziness of the world today, at the time of this posting, there was a pigeon that had a band that looked like it came from America, and it was in Australia, and they didn't want it to bring in disease. And the Australians were going to put that bird to death because it came from the United States. It's crazy. Anyway, you can see if it's a new clock, it's going to have a really nice looking spinner. What we call a whirly gig. Look at this profile. It's really interesting. And it should be clean as a whistle inside, pretty much. Not much corrosion. Now look at the tiles here. This is a real teller. Those tines will cause marks on those tiles. There's not a mark upon this. So, and the bulb, clear as a whistle. No black at all. So this is a new clock. New inbox. And I'm not putting it back in the box. And here's the Cosmo flip clock that we're going to look at next video. The video will be a little more serious than this one, maybe. 
and it will not include any animals even though I do love birds and I promise you there will be no birds in the next video. Thanks for taking the time.